And we are underway live from the performance studio right here at WRTI 90.1. Once again, my name is J. Michael Harris, son, a jazz host, and uh, just great to be here. You know, my birthday was yesterday, Ed. Happy birthday. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's wonderful. I had the opportunity, and I was just trying to think how I actually came in contact with you too. guys. But a few years back, um, I had the privilege of, of having you and several of the students from Friends School Haverford visit with me on a Friday night, and we, uh, we played some, some music from some concerts that you had uh, been involved with in the past. Maybe it was recorded at the school. I don't it know. Was, yeah. um, but from that, somewhere along the line, we decided it might be cool to actually bring the students with their marimbas here. I had a chance to see you guys at the Barnes perform, and you've performed at Please Touch and various other locations around the city. Um, but today, we're really, really, really happy to welcome uh, Friends School Haverford and Choir Marimba to the uh, performance studio of WRTI. His name is Ed Nardi, and uh, if, if you will, uh, maybe give us a little perspective of how long this program has been going on. At, at Friends School Haverford, yes. it's been going, this is the seventh year, really our sixth year of playing out. First year was kind of like getting it off the ground. And um, before that, at a different school, it was about five years on little tiny xylophones is where it sort of started. Okay. Graduated to this about six years ago, about seven years ago. Um, for, for the students, what are some of the benefits that you've noticed to be able to participate in, in well, this type of program? Uh, maybe the, it's hard to say which is the, the most important, but um, one of them is that we are a working um, group. So it's not uh, adults like us. I mean, it's not like when you see us, it's a, here's a kid's group. Um, it's a, we play, con we concertize for adults. Um, but one of the best things for marimba is that it all, it, the technique part of it is not the hard part of it necessarily. Of course, there's, you know, that can develop. But um, if you can hit the bar, you can play the note. Um, uh, one thing I always say is that the, the way a marimba or a xylophone is organized is the low notes are big and they're on your left and the high notes are small and they're on your right. Um, so it's not like violin where you need a fingering or um, clarinet where you need a fingering. Um, the, the notes are right in front of you in order. Outstanding. Um, we're going to hear a tune coming up in just a few seconds, and, and when we come back, maybe we can chat a little bit how you came across this system mm -hmm. um, of introducing this music to these musicians mm -hmm. and, and the history associated with that. What's the first tune that we're going to hear today? Uh, we're going to hear Nioka. And what's the story behind that tune? Um, I don't know that there's a story behind it. It's my first favorite tune okay. of Walt Hampton's, okay. who we'll talk about sure. next time. Uh, about It was one of the tunes that got me, got us into this kind of music. Outstanding. So we have 10 marimbas with us today, we have, along with 10 students. Uh, correct. Eight oh. marimbas and two bass marimbas. Outstanding. Right. Um, and you're going to be performing on some of the tunes as well? Correct. And and what will you be playing? Uh, well, on the first tune, I'll be playing the Insanely Loud Ho Show, <laughs> which look like something from the Flintstones, I hear, um, which are basically shakers. They're gourd shakers. Okay. All right. So let's hear that. Okay. Thanks very much. Okay.
That was truly amazing. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and, and to all of you as well, that was truly amazing. Thank you for sharing that. Um, the title of that selection once again? Nioka. Um, there's a Zimbabwean connection to what you're doing. Uh, if you can draw that connection well, for so us. Well, so that comes from a book where I discovered this uh, author, uh, Walt Hampton, who wrote some of the songs that we play that are based on the Shona tradition of Zimbabwe. Uh, we also play um, actual Zimbabwean Shona tunes. That That's influenced by it. The next tune, which is probably the most different tune we play is is in that collection it's not as quote unquote shona as neoka outstanding now you mentioned walt walt so that's how i came to this music perusing the music the music uh, shelves uh for music for my elementary school kids at a different school discovered a book called hot marimba i'm a marimbist so naturally looking through it oh my kids could play these tunes. Uh, they're simple three-part tunes, um, which um, started me down this road, playing tunes out of that book, discovering he's got two or three other books, doing workshops with him in the summer, discovering other tunes, and then the, um, uh, I call them legitimate uh, Zimbabwean tunes, which are not, they're, you know, written for over there. Um, so that's how it's sort of all started. Um, Outstanding. Um I want to provide a bit of clarity because mm -hmm. I think we may have um, uh, listed incorrectly. There's a, a couple of performances coming up. One is available for the public to actually Correct. view. And the That's other our one spring concert. All right, so the spring concert is happening when? Uh, April 25th, 7 o'clock on our campus, on our stage, Fred School Haverford. And that is open to the public? That is open to the public. And there's, is there a website that they can maybe find out? Uh, that they? would be our friendschoolhaverford.org. Okay. And then there's another performance that I think we may have incorrectly listed. Um, that's the Friends Central. Friends Central lower, lower school. school. That's next week. Yeah. But then that's not available to not the public. Not open to so the public. Just to, make, to the best of your knowledge. That, <laughs> okay. that I know of. All right. So, no, that's outstanding. Um, you mentioned that we're about to hear another tune. Correct. And, and what is this tune once again? Uh, this is my new favorite tune <laughs> called Hope, also by Walt Hampton. Very different kind of feel than the dancey Nioka uh, Shona style. Um, it's more relaxing, okay. I guess. All right. And before we go into that, um, for folks that may be viewing this, other educators, music mm -hmm. teachers, directors, what have you, uh, that may be interested in, in following suit and, and maybe developing something like this at their school, what, what would you have to say to those? Well, what, what I would have to say is I started on uh, ORF instruments. We were talking about this, which are those, every music teacher has them in their classroom, these small xylophones, that we started these kind of tunes on 10, 12 years ago or whatever it was. Um, and since the parts are all, you know, soprano, alto, tenor, bass, they can be played on those, those instruments that every music teacher has. Mm -hmm. So um, how it happened for me was we had two or three broken down xylophones for my class, and I went in and said, you know, this was after I discovered that book, we need to do this. So how is it that I'm going to get 10, 12 of these instruments? And we did it like that. Okay. So. Outstanding. All right, so let's hear the next tune. Hope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Once again, that was amazing. Yay! <laughs> no, it's great to have you guys here today. Thank that you. was that was really outstanding. Um, the instruments themselves, uh, the history. If you can maybe give a little perspective on on the marimba and and the, and the, the history associated well, with it. Well, it's a long and complex. The condensed so version every, of there, it. I don't know that there is one. <laughs> so every culture has a version of this instrument. So I get asked, where did it start? What you know? What country? Mm. What continent? Mm, it, every every it spreads. Spread so amongst. if it's um, Africa, we're talking about a pit xylophone, where the the keys and bars are spread over an open trench and played, each player plays a bar. If we're talking about China, the keys are made of jade and we're put stone and we're playing. So, and what we're a little more familiar with is Latin America, which is the chromatic marimba, similar to a piano, you know, sharps and flats. These are diatonic, which means no sharps and flats. So uh, basically the white keys of the piano. The audience may have noticed, I noticed, that on the first two songs, some of the musicians change locations. Mm -hmm. We change every tune. What, what's the significance associated with that? Uh, well, so um, so if, if, um, if we're talking about it, let's say it's a choir, so soprano, alto, tenor, bass. Uh, in a choir, if you sing soprano, you always sing soprano. If you sing tenor, so on, right? Here we change around so that what we what our soprano part would be would be part one. On one tune they're playing part one, another tune they might be playing part two, the alto part, quote unquote, or tenor or bass. Um, so uh, it allows me to. Some parts are a little more. Uh, they focus on certain techniques more than other parts. So if a student needs a particular kind of thing, like off beats. I can, I can structure that part for that student, uh, depending on the part. Outstanding. Okay. So we have one more tune that we're going to hear. We do. What is this last tune? It's called Isutayapano. Okay. So we'll come back after that and kind of wrap up and, again, give information about the performance coming up at, uh, at your school and what have you. Again, if folks wanted to keep up with uh, what's going down with Kwaya Marimba, what would so be So two places would be uh, our school's website, Friends... Friend, friendsschoolhaverford.org, or our YouTube channel, Kwaya Marimba. I'm going to spell that, uh, which is K-W-A-Y-A -A Marimba on YouTube. You can see some of our other tunes. Cool. And you're on this p p performance as well? I am. All right, so I'll take your microphone okay. and let you do what you do. All right. All right.
Wow, 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 and wow. 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 Applause to all of you. Great job. Thank you so much. Hey, this is fantastic, man. Yes. Uh, I'm glad we're able to do this. Me too. Long time coming, but we were able to make it happen. Uh, again, congratulations on, on everything that you have going on. This is a wonderful group, once again, of, of talented young folks. Um, do many of these young folks continue on beyond um, the activity with you, picking up different instruments, things like that? Well, I lines? have several former students that actually have gone on to take marimba as their instrument. Wow. Yeah. So that's, that's a really cool that's thing. That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, folks that may have uh, just joined in and, mm -hmm. and uh, caught us, uh, if they want to find out more about um, the performance coming up, and uh, again, bless you, uh, <laughs> if they want to, you know, explore starting a program like this, things along those lines, give those those best ways to. So our website, friendshaverford.org, or our uh, YouTube channel, Choir Marimba, K W A Y A Marimba. Would be the two best places. And again, there's a performance coming up at Friends School Haverford. On April 25th, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., open to the public. Outstanding. We'll be playing. Another, uh, my fifth, sixth grade group will also be playing. <laughs> so lots of marimba going on. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, I, I don't know. Do you think we could maybe sneak these guys up around us so they can get on camera real quick? Can oh, you I guys they, come in here? I think they would. Come on up and, and get close and get around <laughs> Ed, your teacher, Mr. Nardi, come on up so you guys can say hello and goodbye and get in here. Come on. No, no more sneezing, though. Get in there close and, and you know, say, say you see your parents in the conference room. I want to thank uh, Tyler McClure and the crew for all their efforts to make this happen. Ed, thank you again. Thank you. And thanks to the parents for, for making it happen. But once again, great to have you guys, and we really appreciate you coming out and, and sharing a little bit of what you do with uh, all the folks who uh, tune in to WRTI 90.1. Once again, my name is J. Michael Harrison. We are live from the uh, Performance Studio with Choir Marimba, and it's been a blast. So you guys can say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>